Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Missed you guys. Today we are going to be making my version of deconstructed halup keys, also known as galab keys, okay? This is going to be a fun one and a yummy one. Um, super easy once again. So today this is a cabbage, cabbage dish. Um, so we start with cabbage. This is just a small head of cabbage here that's cut up and fried in butter. You can use oil if you don't have butter. And then I have two cups of white rice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, garlic salt, and then we have our red sauce, which today we're using a Cabernet marinara. That's what we're going to use today. Okay. And then you need a pound of ground beef. So today we are going to start with the ground beef. Now, as you saw, I went ahead and I pre-made the cabbage because the cabbage does take a little while to cook down. Um, you more or less steam it. Um, just cut up your cabbage finely into thin pieces, okay, and then steam it with a lid on. Um, use a little bit of water just so it doesn't burn, and then pop some butter in there. This is a very buttery dish, but good. Yummy, fast, easy, how we always make it. Yes! Alright, let me get my spoon. So this is ground beef. Um, you can use ground pork or ground chicken if you want. Okay, so let's just fry this up first. Okay, this is um, this is actually loved by my kids. My lo kids love this. My kids aren't fans of cabbage but when I make this they eat it so I just don't even tell them it's cabbage I just tell them hey guys we're eating this for dinner and they eat it they like it so ha this is a cheap dinner also because cabbage at the most cabbage is I want to say 69 cents for a head okay and this is like I said I just used a small head of it here um, and this, 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 this meal is going to stretch because I have the cabbage and then I have the white rice. You can use more than two cups of white rice. I just use two cups because then we still have a whole pound of hamburger here also. So this is, this meal you can stretch, um, and you can add extras too. Like sometimes when I make this, I'll add fried onions. Sometimes I'll add fried mushrooms, whatever you want to do. This is yummy. And this is another pretty meal. It's very green. It's very earthy looking. It's good. So you'll like this. This is a fun and easy weekend dinner too. You know, if you want to have the kids join in. Buy up some cabbage with ya. By the way, guys, what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear. And how was your week, by the way, guys? I had a crazy week. This week felt like it stretched out. It just felt like so much stuff was going on. I couldn't wait till Friday to see you guys again, make this video. Um, don't forget, our videos are every Friday and Monday, too. And don't forget, if you want to get in touch with me, you can on here. Um, or you can just comment. I do read your guys' comments, okay? You can drop a recipe that you want me to make, or maybe like your favorite recipe. Um, and then if you're picked, then we can shout you out and do your recipe. It'll be fun. So we do have a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, I do have a couple of people that are going to be on with me in the next couple months. They have recipes that they picked out. Easy, fun recipes that they picked out that they want to share with you guys. So I'm excited for that. And then um, we do eventually have a couple places that we are going to be going. They're going to give us tours and stuff for you guys to see. So, it'll be fun. Alright. So, we are just about done cooking our ground beef. Let me show you guys here. Crap. Almost done. Now, I'd say if I wouldn't have cooked the cabbage and the rice, this meal takes about 20 minutes. 20 minutes to a half an hour. So, it doesn't take long at all. Let me adjust you guys here because I feel like I want to get you guys closer. 
closer to where I am here. I love this tripod, but it can be a little tricky sometimes. So, let me clip this last guy. Okay, perfect. There we go. That's better. All right. So, when we're finished with the ground beef, we are going to drain it, okay? Because we don't want that extra fat in there because that's going to be too greasy, especially because you're already adding butter in with the cabbage. You don't want it greasy. Okay, sometimes I will keep um, the grease in the ground beef, depending on what we're cooking, just to give it flavor. But in this case, you want to drain it all. All right, about two more minutes. There's still some pink spots left. Now, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and just start getting our other stuff ready on this side. All right, so let me scoot you guys over here. All right, so we're going to take our other pot on this side. And over here, we're going to go ahead and grab our rice. Now, the rice is already pre-made too. This doesn't take long. This is two cups of water, two cups of rice. Boil it, let it sit and soak in, okay? Now, this already has butter in it, so I'm not gonna add any more. Okay. Let's cook down our chunks. We got our rice mold over here. Alright. So this is on low heat just to warm it up. This is just about done. So we are just mincing it up into very small bits. You don't want chunks, guys, okay? Now, originally holup keys are made in a crock pot or in the oven. And what you would do is you would take cabbage leaves, fresh cabbage leaves, you'd lay hamburger meat, you'd ugh, lay rice, some people use basil inside um, and other seasonings, and you'd roll it up into tight little rolls, put it in a crock pot or put it on a baking sheet, and then you cover it in tomato sauce and bake it down. That is also delicious. It takes longer, so this is our this is our lazy way. This is our deconstructed way. This is called our lazy halukki. So it's more or less like a casserole. It's just a broken down version of it. It's easier and faster to make. Same exact thing, just broken down. Okay. Excellent. Give this a stir. All right, we are going to drain our ground beef. And we're gonna let it sit. All right, we're gonna let it sit in the strainer for a little bit to get all the grease out. Okay. And then we're gonna take our cabbage. One small head of cabbage. Boom, throw that in there. Now this looks yummy and it smells great. Cabbage is great. You can use cabbage for so many different things. Okay. Mix that in there. Okay. And now, let's go grab our ground beef here. our beef Voila. all right now since that's in we will go ahead and grab our tomato sauce now you can use any kind of tomato sauce like I said I use the Cabernet marinara it's got herbs and it's chunky and it's nice or even better if you want to make your own okay give that a stir and if you want you can add more butter um, just to kind of get things moving around, fry it up a little bit more, totally up to you. Okay. Let's not mix it all the way in because we are not done. Garlic salt. Just a couple pinches. You can use onion salt as well. Okay. Pepper. Couple sprinkles. And then we have our salt. One more. Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead and get everything moving here. Now, with this, since you already have your vegetable, you have your meat and you have your starch, if you wanted to do just like a light, like a light side, you know, maybe like corn on the cob or maybe like a small mixed veggie, you don't need much because this is very filling with the rice and with the ground beef. It's not heavy, but it is filling. So, it smells great with the garlic salt too. It smells good looks good and tastes even better guys so now if you wanted to go ahead and maybe grate some parmesan cheese on top of this that would be yummy also but i'm going to leave mine just the way it is okay so let's get a close-up here so guys here it is this is it this is our friday night dinner this is our lazy version of halukis so i hope you like it give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you're sharing these videos. I wanna see more of you guys. We're so close to hitting our first giveaway. We need a couple more subscribers, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay with us, don't miss out on our recipes. You're gonna miss out on so much and you don't wanna do that. So make sure you stay with us. Keep looking out from us every Monday and Friday. So have a good rest of your night, have a good weekend. Cook this this weekend, your family will love it. See ya.